right guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the Scout Prepper Channel. Today we're doing something different. We're out in the woods at the deer lease and we're going to do a gear test on the ATV slash vehicle bug out bag that we showed two or three weeks ago. Now of course I got my EDC stuff with me, a gun, a knife, stuff in my pockets, my little bag that I would normally have with me while I'm hunting. And that's what we're doing today. I'm here with the sergeant. We're really deer hunting. So the deal is, the test is, we're going to use the ATV bug out bag for our shelter, food, water, tools, navigation, anything that we might need, we'll use it out of the bug out bag. This is a great way to tell if we have what we need. You can put the bag together and put it on paper and make spreadsheets and do what you want, but you gotta get out in the woods and test that stuff. So if we're missing it, we won't have it. It's gonna be a peanut butter and no jelly situation. So you, you have to see if you have a complete system. We're gonna get the bag out, we'll get the, the tent set up, We'll get, the, uh, we'll get the dehydrated stuff out, the stove out, all that stuff. We've got our little SOL bivy bags. That's mild a day in the 50s, but it's supposed to be a cold front coming through tonight in the 30s. We'll spend all day with this gear only. And again, if we need something that we don't have, then we fall short and we'll know what we need to add to our systems. Now, nobody's hurt today. There's no emergency. We know where we are. So it's a little bit different of a test, but we will still have the medical gear there. I've got a trauma pack in my bag. The Sarge has one there. We've got our little trauma kits. I've got a first aid kit in the bag, so we'll have medical if we need it. But of course, it's not a true emergency like it would be if you had to break the bag open and spend the night in the woods. All right, let's get everything set up. Okay, guys, so here's the stuff that's in the bag. This is, uh, if you'll remember from the original video with the ATV bug out kit. The goal of this bag is something happens while you're hunting or you're outdoors, you're trail riding, whatever, and you have to spend the night unexpectedly in the woods. So the gear here is designed to get you through the night. And in, really, this gear is designed to get two people through the night. So I'm normally with my son when I'm hunting or I'm with my brother in most cases. And like today, I'm with the Sarge. So here's what we have. The bag, also have a toe strap and some ropes in there and some bungees. We have a uh, air compressor just for the tires for the ATVs and there's a 12 volt already on my ATV. We've got a Kelty Salida 2, two man tent, full size. We've got a survival kit, two bags with uh, mountain house, freeze dried meals in them, and of course the medical kit, and that was the Bighorn by uh, Adventure Medical, the new hunter series or sportsman series that they've come out with. In the bag we've got a cook kit, a stove, fuel, two, um, two stainless steel mugs that we can heat water in. We've got two SOL escape bivvies for warmth or a sleeping bag basically, a premises sleeping bag. We've got uh, a tarp, a little emergency radio so we, we could hear what was going on or just have a little radio. It also charges with a winder and uh, we could charge a cell phone off of it. Although I will say it's not a very good one, it could give us that emergency call that we need. And generally, not here where I am right now, but within 100 yards of here, we generally have cell phone service at this piece of property, so we're pretty good. Also, I've got for a tool the Becker BK7 knife, which is great for chopping, cleaning a deer, or anything like that, super sharp, and a trauma kit the trauma pack from Adventure Medical with the quick lot and stuff. I have another one of those in my EDC hunting bag. And of course I've got a tourniquet and some other stuff in my EDC hunting bag. In case of a gunshot wound, something like that, uh, a huge cut from a knife while you're cleaning an animal, those kind of things happen when you're hunting. You're out in the woods, you're using guns, you're using knives, you need to have the medical gear just in case. Okay, let's get camp set up and see what it looks like. Okay guys, so the Kelty Salada 2, two man tent set up. Of course you gotta always take two man, four man, and six man with a grain of salt. A lot of times they'll say four man, really be a two or three. Say a two man and be a one. But really, I think that this tent will fit two grown men. And uh, what we would do is it has the vest of you. So normally your gear would go here, your pack would go under the vestie so that you had more room inside to, for you because that's also important. And this is staying perfectly dry. You could leave your knife, your pack, all that good stuff in there, unroll your escape bivvies, and you're good to go. Okay, guys, so we got the tent set up. It's really quick. It's a one minute, 60 second setup, I'm telling you now. The Sarge had never even seen the tent, and it's simple. You throw it out there, it has two poles that cross, crisscross over the top, and you're done. The vestibule, vestibule hooks with a fast text buckle on each corner, and it's two grays and two oranges, so you know if you have it on right. Super simple tent to set up. This thing weighs 
it's listed at three pounds 12 inches uh, 12 ounces but i'm telling you now in the real world for whatever reason that's wrong it's actually four and a half pounds it's 30.5 square feet according to the manufacturer with a 10 square foot vestibule i rolled it all up so you can just see the tent now as you can see this would be a no-brainer for me and gear inside here to keep everything dry but with uh, two guys and this is an emergency tent this is not a camping tent this is something went wrong this would keep us dry two grown men i'm six foot 225 we could fit in here a little cramped but dry and or out of the wind or whatever this tent is meant to keep us alive if i was going to go with a uh, more luxurious camping situation heck i'm going with the six or an eight man right but this is a pack tent for the bug out kit for the atv emergency kit okay guys so it was getting really dark on us the sergeant and i wanted to wrap up the uh, daily gear test of the atv or vehicle bug out bag test we finished up hunting everything was super dark and we couldn't get any good video to shoot so went ahead and made the hour and a half drive back everything's packed in and we're uh, going to finish up so lessons learned what did we find out there well we went out there as i explained to test the bag the premise is that bag's designed for something happens you have to spend the night in the woods unexpectedly, what would you do? Well, we didn't spend the night in the woods with it because we were just on a daily hunt. We both have, both have to unfortunately be back at work tomorrow. So we spent the day with the bag. We opened it up, set up the tent, and it was kind of home base, basically. The tent acted like uh, our shelter. It did give us shelter because it got a little sunny. And as a matter of fact, it made it to about 72 that day, whereas it had been in the 30s that morning. So we had a big swing in temperature, and we tried to test all the gear. First thing I found, we forgot the fuel cartridge for the stove. I did, it's my bag. The fuel cartridge, I did a test on the MSR pocket rocket stove, which is included in the cook kit in that system. And I tested several times on the boil and the water and I had a low cartridge. So I took it out to replace it. I did replace it, I never put it back in the bag. I did buy a new cartridge. So guess what? We didn't have a fire on the stove to burn, to boil the water to cook the dehydrated food that we had with us. Was that a showstopper in a survival situation? Of course not. I had waterproof matches. I had a uh, ferro rod and I think, uh, oh, lipo matches as well, plus trioxane and something, uh, the quick fire, the wet fire tender. So we had plenty to start a fire. We would have had to boil the water on the fire, grab it with a little towel that was, the MSR towel that was in the kit and cook the food. Now, of course, we were, we were getting out of there for the evening so we didn't stay to cook dinner. Uh, we had to come on home, so but we could have done it. We messed up, and that's back to my last video. And several times I've said that one key ingredient, man. If you miss something in these systems, it really gets you. And in this case, it wouldn't have been a showstopper, but it would have been an inconvenience. In a situation where we were trying to use that kit to get away from a place, maybe a place we were trying to egress from for a while, we didn't want smoke and a flame and a fire. That would have been a big deal. We couldn't have had dinner because we didn't have the uh, smokeless stove, you know, the, the butane powered stove. In a situation where you're in an area where there's been a lot of, uh, there's a no campfire ban or something like that, no open fire ban, but you could still run a stove in that situation. If that was the situation, you would have been screwed too, because you couldn't illegally have uh, started a campfire if it had been forbidden due to dry conditions, what have you. You know, a lot of stuff has gone through that this year in the West and in many years. But all in all, the bag worked. It gave us shelter. We had three ways to get water. The, in the survival kit, we had the water purification tabs, the uh, straw, the frontier straw, and we had the MSR uh, Hiker Pro filter. We already had water with us in the two, three liter each. The sergeant and I each had a three liter hydration bladder in our little packs, and uh, which were on the ATVs. And we had uh, the 96 ounce collapsible uh, water tank, which is in the Nalgene water tank, which is in there in the bag, as well as the 32 ounce typical water bottle. So all of those were just fine. We had plenty of water. We actually didn't need to collect water. We had plenty of food, but again, had the little stove snafu. We had all our survival and signaling gear, though I think flares would be a good one. Just in case, uh, maybe, you know, aerial flares like the uh, like the little rocket flares, the pin flares that you've seen. Because the situation is we're going to use that gear if we're injured on a planned hunt where we normally hunt. So we might need some type of aerial signal. There are other people at our camp that might know, okay, they're in danger. We already had the firearms from the deer rifles and I had a handgun and a fixed blade knife. We were pretty set. One thing I did notice is we had the escape bivvies from 
uh, Adventure Medical, but there was no pad for him, no sleeping pad. So that made the ground a little bit hard, which is just, you know, a comfort thing. And we're not camping here, it's a survival situation. So it was doable, but also it would have not had, other than the tent floor, an insulator. The tarp, we didn't have a tarp in the bag. I had taken that out to save weight, but that's probably gonna go back so we can have additional shade or use it as a ground cloth on the tent. And again, it would be another level of insulation. Might also consider from the extended backpacking bag, the Kelty uh, Eagle 128 bug out bag, you saw the Climate Inertia XL one pound uh, inflatable mat that's about the size of a Coke can. Those are 90 to $100, but that might be something for the bag. Two of them, big expense, but it would give you literally an inflatable uh, six ounce, eight ounce air mattress that would be an insulating layer and could really make the difference. In a survival situation during the winter, get you up off the ground. Now, of course, you could use a big bed of leaves. You can use a big bed of pine needles, whatever you have indigenous to your area, but uh, you need something to get you off the ground. So all in all, the test was great. It was just a one-day deal. It wasn't a multi-day expedition with a survival bag. That's not what that bag's for. It's for an emergency. We broke everything out. We tested it like I highly recommend you do. Hope you enjoyed. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. Check us out on the web, scouttactical.com. Check us out on Facebook, and I appreciate the subscriptions on the Scout Prepper channel, the newest channel from the Scout Tactical Network. Thanks.